Hey, what's up guys, Vidon Apps here, and in this video, we're going to be working with Zoom and Crop Effects in iMovie. So in iMovie, you have the option to create a, um, you have multiple options to create different zoom effects and different uh, crop effects here. So by default, this is a standard image, not a video. So if we go ahead and drag that into the timeline, you can automatically see that iMovie has a Ken's Burn effect applied to it. Let's say we don't like it or we want to make it different. So automatically when clicking on the crop button right here, we can have it start at a certain point and have it end at a certain point as well. So let's say, let's have them both the same size. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, now if we watch this, we have got a different effect going, and we don't even have to do Ken Burns altogether. And of course, we can flip it around, so now that has become start. Let's uh, take a look at it. So there we go, that is just a quick overview of the uh, Ken Burns effect. Now if we go to crop to fill, this will just crop the image only to a certain point. So if we go ahead and click on the check, basically it just crops the image in. Now if we were to go to fit, it will automatically fit the image to uh, the video screen. So unfortunately I cannot make any changes here. So we go ahead and delete this clip and let's say let's drag in a video. Oh, that seems about good length. Let's go ahead and drag that in. So you can also have the Ken Burns effect with video as well. Now it's not default applied like we saw in the photo here, but to apply it we just have to go in the crop in Ken Burns. Let's have it end um, right there. So over throughout the whole video, the end of the video is the ending point that you selected. So this right here, this area will be only um, will be fully uh, zoomed in to that area once the video has ended. Let's go ahead and check that and let's see how it looks. And there you go. So that is the Ken Burns effect. Of course, we can switch it around. So let's say we wanted to start like that. And there we go. Now we also get a crop to fill, which is again just cropping it to the way you like it. Let's, okay, there we go. That looks good. You can crop it as and as much as you like. If we wanted to do it, uh, let's make it a bit bigger. If we wanted to crop it in even more. Of course, it does lose the resolution aspect of it. But you can do that as well. Along with that, we also have fit, which is the default for video. As um, when I dragged it in, and I'll go ahead and drag that in again. So that is the default for video. It is automatically set to fit, as you can see there. But you can change it to crop to fill or Ken Burns. So what we can do is um, go ahead and do something like this. And there we go. So it's just gonna go to corner to corner. So something like that. Um, but let's go ahead and undo that. But yeah, there we go. So working with effects in iMovie. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.